Hello there guys and welcome to part 3 of our Java game programming tutorial which we're gonna be, we talked about, we're gonna be building the Asteroids game In today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and create a new class which is gonna be our ship class, we're gonna define some methods there in our default constructor in the ship class so if you didn't watch our previous tutorials guys go ahead and watch those, they're gonna be very informative so it's gonna be a build up up to this point so you haven't missed a lot if you didn't watch those previous tutorials if you haven't also watched my other series of tutorials, guys, go ahead and watch this as well. Leave comments, subscribe to my channel, guys, and please, 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 um, you know, rate all the videos. It gives me a lot of feedback uh, on how you guys, how you guys like my tutorials, or if you guys like my tutorials or not. So, to waste some more time, this will be a little bit shorter tutorial than our previous two, but uh, nevertheless, will be um, um, as important as the other two. So, let's go ahead and add a new class file here, and let's call it ship. This is going to be our ship class. And finish. Let's go here. Let's go inside of our ship class. Get rid of that code there. And let's go ahead and we need to import two packages. So we're going to import two libraries here. Import the java.awt. We need the rectangle. And let's import java. AWT polygon. There we go. Our ship class here, we're going to go ahead and extend. So we're going to type extends. Our parent class here, which is vector shape. Parent class, super class. Let's put a, some comments here. Put the, put a comment block. So I'm going to say here ship class um, this class inherits all the public methods and properties of the of the vector shaping of the vector shape class of the vector shape class so now we have access to all the properties, all the public properties and methods located in the vector class, uh, vector shape class, which is our parent class. All right. Now let's go ahead and put another comma here. Um, here, let's go ahead and define our polygon. So basically, the shape of our ship. So define uh, ship polygon. To do that, let's go ahead and create some integer arrays. I'm going to call it ship x, lo the x locations. And I came up with this location by the basically the polygon shape of the ship. But you can basically play around with this and change uh, the, the way the ship looks. In my case, I will start with 6, 3, start with negative 6, and negative 3, and go to 0 go back at 3 and go at 6 and go at 0 and I'm gonna we need to have some Y locations as well to match the X locations and I'm gonna start at 6 7 let's go 7 again 7 and let's go 6 and go at negative 7 so this will be my locations and you can also play around with this once you see the once you go ahead and basically demo and see what's going on and you can basically change these locations to make the ship your 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 ship look different and let's put another comment in here mm. uh, let's say here uh, let's define our bounds let's define our bounds to do that let's go ahead and type uh, public rectangle say here get bounds bounds and inside of this here let's go ahead and declare a rectangle I'm gonna call it R and let's set that R equal R equals a new rectangle I'm gonna 
typecast this I'm gonna call the get x which is remember it's a public method from our vector shape class so I'm gonna get the x location minus 6 from that get our y location and do the same thing there minus 6 from that minus 6 and 12 Again, you can play around with these numbers once you see, once you have it running. And let's go ahead and return the R. So return our boundary there. All right, let's go ahead here and have our. Let me put another comment here. And put constructor here. Shit. All right, constructor. Yes. Although you don't need to put that there. And let's type public shift inside our constructor we don't really need to do too much we just we're gonna set our shape remember set shape is a is a method located in our vector shape class here it's a public it's public so we can access it and let's set that to a new polygon so this is our ship our the shape of our ship so let's set it to a new polygon and then let's set the, the location to ship x ship y which are our coordinates and the length which we need to ship x length and also we need to set the state there I put a comma here and put a dot and, and I spell length wrong so length and also set alive was another method there and I set alive to true so this is our game when our game begins ship we're gonna draw our ship and it should appear on the screen so this is basically how, how we define um, this is going to be the shape of our ship we're getting the boundaries the stepping of how how far we want the ship to move and so on the velocity and so on we're going to define more of those in our main class but this was basically a setting in our constructor we're just setting the ship so basically we're going to draw the ships so we're going to draw the ship um, we're going to draw a, well a, it's going to be a polygon using this coordinates it's going to we're going to draw a polygon using this coordinates so it's going to be the coordinates so the ship will look like the ships look will be based on these coordinates and you can play around with them later on and in our constructor here we'll just set a live basically setting the sh uh, so basically game begins the ship should up should appear on the screen for the user to view and we'll begin our game that's what we do in our constructor and here we're getting the bunches so how, how we're moving um, um, in uh, basically in all the ways basically uh, moving up down left right how the ship will be moving and uh, basically the steps that will be taken how many pixels at a time should sh it should be moving it should accelerating so in our next tutorial here we're going to go ahead and define another class and it's going to be our bullets class so stick around for that stick around for that tutorial guys and that will be um, defining our bullets how, how bullets will be shot from the top of our ship basically the, the tip of our ship so thank you for watching this tutorial guys, um, our next tutorial will be part 4 of the Asteroids game and there will be a lot more parts to, to this game so stick around, if you didn't watch the previous tutorials go ahead and watch those, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, rate the videos and leave as many comments as possible guys, it truly gives me a lot of feedback if you guys like the videos or you guys, uh, and uh, so stick around for our fourth tutorial which is to come and that will be on our bullets class, we'll define our bullets class. Thank you for watching this tutorial guys and I hope you liked it and please leave comments, rate and subscribe. We'll be back with another tutorial very soon. Thanks for watching.